Measurement is a really important and a really complicated part of social selling programs. And oftentimes companies go wrong when they measure the wrong things in the wrong ways at the wrong times. And this can be really detrimental to the success of your program. And having worked with companies around the world and across industries, we at Seismic have developed a pretty strong methodology for how to measure social selling programs in a way that builds towards your ultimate success. Now, ultimately, of course, we want social selling to drive revenue. That's obvious. And a lot of programs have been killed before they've really come to fruition by expecting those revenue outcomes to really materialize in the early days. What we've found works best is to think of it in three stages. Imagine that you are coaching a basketball team and you really want to win the championship. And in order to do that, you know that your team is going to have to play a really smart two-way strategic game. But if right now they don't know how to dribble the ball, they don't know how to pass the ball, half of them aren't even in good condition, it's kind of going to be lost on them to get into a super sophisticated conversation about two-way strategy, right? You got to start on the fundamentals. And it's no different with social selling. In the early months, you've got to work with your sales team on the fundamentals of social selling. And, and that's really about the mindsets around becoming more client-centric and more buyer-centric. It's the skill sets about thinking about their content strategy and their engagement strategy and the way they're presenting themselves in the market. And you're working to get them adopting the tools that they're using like LinkedIn Sales Navigator and like Seismic Live Social. You want those tools to become comfortable and just part of their day-to-day workflow. So you start with focusing on program metrics. How many people are adopting this program? How many people are sharing content every week? How many people are really leaning into the program? Now it's not revenue yet, but it's foundational and it's going to lead you, lead you there. Now after you've got a flywheel spinning for these program metrics, you can start looking at marketing metrics. You still measure program metrics, but you start to introduce marketing metrics. And that's things like how much traffic are they driving to the website? You should see more traffic going to your website. You should see more high intent demand. You know, low intent demand is when someone downloads an ebook or, or registers for a, a, a webinar or something. High intent demand is when they go to your website and they request a demo or they request a conversation with sales. They've been pre-educated, they're ready to talk. This is your most valuable demand. As your social selling program builds momentum, you ought to see more of that. Another part of this phase two, this marketing metrics, is earned media value. Now, most companies are out there spending money on sponsored updates and other paid social on LinkedIn, perhaps Twitter, perhaps other networks, and you know how expensive that can be. It's not uncommon to be spending 10, 12, even more dollars per click. What if your team could generate thousands, maybe tens of thousands of clicks that you don't have to pay for? That's valuable, that's earned media value. So you start with the program metrics. After a few months, you start to introduce these marketing metrics and then you're leading towards the end game which is revenue metrics. And as your program matures, you ought to see it paying off in those revenue outcomes. And what we've seen in mature, well-run social selling programs is that the socially active sellers outperform their less socially active peers across every relevant revenue metric. They have higher quota attainment, they have higher win rates, they have higher average contract value, and they have shorter sales cycles. That is where you really see powerful ROI on social selling. But the thing to remember is if you try to race there, it's not going to happen. Build the program, measure the marketing outcomes, and know that you're on the road towards revenue outcomes.